we got this letter. It was from several different people, and uh, so we kind of combined it mm-hmm. into one. Katie combined it into one to kind of got the the feeling for this um, for this family. It says, "Dear Jared, Katie, Jason, and Matt, on September seventh, twenty fourteen, my niece and her unborn son were tragically killed in a car accident. The only two survivors were my niece's three year old daughter and two year old son. The children suffered minor injuries." Her son had some bruising and a burn to his neck from his car seat, and her daughter suffered burns, two black eyes, and a broken wrist. After losing their mother, the children are now living with their aunt. She, along with her husband and her own two children, have taken these babies into their home, along with my niece's mother, who has MS. This year, for your breaking and entering Christmas, I nominate my niece. This family has known hard times before, but nothing has been tougher than what they're going through now. This will be the children's first Christmas without their mother. And they deserve all the happiness in the world. Thank you so much for your consideration. I know this family would love this surprise. And of course, we've taken the names out for now. Mm -hmm. So that was the letter that we read, I believe Monday morning. And we just want to refresh your memory if you missed it or if you wanted to remember. But yeah, this family's been through a lot. They've taken on a lot. Absolutely. Can you imagine? No. You have two children and you then you lose your sister and then you're, you have her children. I can't. I just cannot even imagine. No, I can't imagine. Let's uh, check in with Ooh. Josie. I don't, we don't want to miss the breaking and entering part. Josie, you there? Yes, yeah, Santa won the home base. They just pulled in. They got here a little quicker than we okay, thought. Okay, well, we'll just, yes. we'll just roll with it then. We'll just roll with it. We'll let okay. you describe the scene. Okay. There's several cars because four kids don't fit in one car, obviously. Right. All the cars are pulling in right now. And we have four kids under the age of nine years old getting ready to get out of the car. We've got the tree on the front porch and the presents inside ready to go and whisper because I don't want to give anything away. And we're getting very strange looks from the family because, as you know, they have no idea that this is going on. All right. Oh, my goodness. And so the nine-year-old's in footy pajamas because it was pajama day at school and they took her out of school. She thought she was going to pajama day at school. Yeah, Ava had that last week. It's cute. Fun. When you see the pictures, you'll (laughs) that's why. Fun and comfy. And it's early, so why why not? Why not? Should be pajama day here I'm in pajamas right now. (laughs) It's great. (laughs) I'm going to walk out. How are you guys? Good. You guys are probably like, who are these people in our front yard? I am um, a KZL from the North Pole. I know a guy, his name is Santa Claus. Do you know who Santa Claus is? Do you know who he is? Uh, yeah? Do you guys know who Santa... Hey, and, uh, 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 Andriana? Say it correctly. Andriana, do you know who Santa Claus is? Come on up, guys. Oh, they're all jumping on their old boys in the front yard. Hold on one second. <laughs> let, me, let me corral a three-year-old, a two, two-year-old, and a nine-year-old. Hi, guys. My name is Josie. I'm from 107.5 KZL's North Pole. We, uh are here because we know that your story has been um, super pregnant, so I'll probably cry a million times. And I apologize in advance. No, no your need. I'm really, crying, too. Yeah. <laughs> your story really touched us. And um, and we heard from your aunt and your cousin, um, both wrote in, and your community has really um, told us about your story, and it touched us, and we wanted to give you guys a Christmas that you'll remember to make it a little bit easier this year. Um, you'll notice your trees on the front porch because we're not man enough to know how to chainsaw a tree. Um, well, <laughs> we couldn't trim it. So we're going to let you guys go ahead and put on the decorations a little bit later with the kids. But inside we've got um, a lot of presents just for all the kids so that you guys can have a very Merry Christmas this year. And uh, your your aunt, just don't be too mad at her and try not to cuss on the air because she's a feeling to go in there and you'll get nasty with her for letting all these people in your house. <laughs> or for the surprise, yeah. Sure. <laughs> right, right. So don't come on inside, on guys. All right, we're, we're corralling the two-year-olds. Come oh, on, they're all... <laughs> I know how that is. Full-time <laughs> job. Yeah. Can you imagine two two-year-olds and a three-year-old? I no. <laughs> all right, we're... Come on, guys. There's presents inside. Come on inside. Presents. There's presents inside. Are you going to be nice now? All right, we're going on inside. Here come the kids. They're all walking inside. They're looking at the tree, the ginormous tree that's on the front porch. Uh huh. Awesome. Thank you, Bruce inside. Wagner tree lot. They're great. Just donated it, no problem. It's so nice. It's, 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 a, it's a beautiful tree. It is gorgeous. Once we get somebody man enough to chainsaw to turn it like it's supposed Jeez, to be. Poor Matt. Uh, yeah. Turn it in the house will be good. I didn't know about the chainsaw. Me, Mr. Matt. Yeah. 
And that's where I got I my tree, and it was huge. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. We have everybody's presents separated so that everybody can open them and not get confused with anybody else's presents. Let's see. Can you? Let's see. Let's see right here. We've got Whitney's right here. Whitney, this is your pile, okay? And Whitney is nine, so, by the way. Whitney's nine Whitney year, is, years old. And I um, can imagine Whitney helping is, a lot with the kids. Yeah, yeah. Interesting outfit, Whitney. What have you got going on here? You've got some black sparkly Uggs and some footy pajamas. Why are you dressed like this? Oh, okay. Not anymore. Now at Christmas Day, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you ready to open some presents? You want to open that one first? Come Aww. ahead. This is, uh, I'm going to say her name wrong every time. Andriana, right? Sarah Andriana, okay. Andriana, and you're three years old, right? Oh, my goodness. She's got the most beautiful blonde curly hair. Katie, I sent you a picture of her. She's absolutely I got a it. doll baby. Getting ready to post I it go. to our Facebook right now. What is that? Oh, but, oh good job. <gasps> what is that right there? Do you have a big girl bed? And that's, who is this right here? Who's that? Doc McStuffins. Good oh, Doc God. McStuffins oh, big. Oh, cool. Got some new bedding. Oh, yeah. All right. What's this, Kenneth? Now, Kenneth, you're you're two? Are you two? How old? He's almost two years old, and he's opening up a Ninja Turtle. What is this? What is that? What is this? Is that a bike? Ninja Turtle bike? Oh, wow. Oh, man, we just got the happy smile. Oh, <laughs> oh so sweet. Okay, we're going to go over to Colton. Hey, Colton, what did you get? And Colton what is, is 21 months. Okay. Mm-hmm. Is that is that Stuffy from Doc McStuffin? I'm so glad I know all these characters. Names. <laughs> so <laughs> do I. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We hang out every afternoon. <laughs> what is that? What does he do? Can, we, can you press the button? Let's see, what's the button do? I don't even know. There it is. <laughs> What does Stuffy do? Oh, Stuffy. <laughs> oh, Stuffy makes noises. Oh, my goodness. The parents will love that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, what did you get? What did you get, Whitney? I create a monster doll from Monster High. Oh, cool. my goodness. Yeah, I saw Color it. me creepy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Even I know that's cool. Monster High? Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're at Toys R Us picking out some of the presents, and she likes Monster High. She's nine years old. And I was like, oh, I want this. Uh-huh. The create your own monster doll <laughs> thing. It's like a whole kit. Color me creepy. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Now, oh, look. What is this right here? What is it? A a princess dress. What princess? Do you know who that is? What princess? Frozen. Frozen. An Elsa dress and an Elsa braid. Oh my goodness! And we've oh, we've got Ninja Turtles in one corner, Doc McStuffins in the other corner, Elsa in the one corner, and Monster High in the other corner. That's the place to be now, this Josie. Is a good day, Josie. You're doing a great job as always. You no, know, I believe we have the mother on the phone, Autumn. We have Autumn. Good morning, Autumn. Good morning. You lost your sister in a car accident. Please, if you don't mind sharing the emotion you felt when when you found that, that information out. Yeah, she was here the day before for my daughter's birthday. And they were on their way home that night. They were five minutes from home. And so when I was at work the next morning and got the phone call, I didn't believe it at all. And then we went all the way down there to get the kids, and they wouldn't even let us see my sister. And it bothered me really, really bad that I'm trying to be strong for the kids because I didn't even get to say bye to my sister before she left. Right. Mm -hmm. And her kids were in the car at the time during the accident. Is that correct? Yeah, her daughter was sitting behind her on the passenger side, and her son was sitting behind the driver. And they had a few injuries, and is are they okay now? Everything all okay with, with them? Um, yeah, they're both healing really, really good. Go um, they're both going to need um, counseling because they oh, yeah. sure. remember everything that happened afterwards. My goodness. Oh. And, and maybe we yeah. there's something we can do with that. I'm sure we, we know so many people. Uh, we'll stay in contact. We, we can maybe help with that, the counseling, because that's definitely um, important. And your, your sister, Heather, was pregnant at the time when she passed away in the car accident, right? Yes, yeah, she was. She was seven months. She was pregnant with a little boy. Oh, they man. said yeah. that he was 
day he was killed instantly. My goodness. And then my sister died later at the hospital. Okay. And her children are ages uh, three and two. If yes, Andreana is three and uh, Kenneth is two. And so then as a couple, you and your husband said, you know, we want to, you're there for your sister. You know, she's gone. And, you know, right before the holidays, you, I think people assume they would do that, but not everyone would do that. Not you, everybody can. Or can. Yeah. And you open yeah. your home and you took on these beautiful children and giving them some a lot of normalcy and stability and love, which love is probably the th- Hello. The, the most love is probably the thing they. Sorry, I'm getting a little emotional. Love is the thing they need the most, and you're you're providing that for them. And it just really warmed our heart when we read the letters because, you know, it's tough enough around Christmas with a, a family that you've planned for, and then when you bring in um, two beautiful innocent children um, who've been through a traumatic experience as well as you have losing your sister. Sure, my goodness, going through that yourselves, yeah. Um, so we just wanted yeah. to commend you for being selfless at at this time of year and and for the rest of your life. You've you've taken this responsibility on. And also I know, I believe your mother also has MS. So you have a lot of, mm-hmm. <laughs> you have a lot of things going on and a lot of stress. So, um, just commend you and want you to stay strong. And we do want to, no, this, we don't want to be a one day thing. I, I really do feel strongly that we want to help with counseling. We'll figure a way to do that. And, we, and I know we, Jared and I, and Jason know that you don't hear it enough. We're sure, but you're doing a beautiful, beautiful thing. Yes. You're doing a good job. So, um, it's been hard, but I'm trying to make sure that they're happy and get as much normalcy as possible because if there wasn't a question about it as soon as everything happened. I was just like, we got to go get them. I can't let nobody else take them. Right. You know, they need to be taken care of. So, Well, God bless you for that. Yeah. And they'll, uh, they'll, they'll, they'll be forever grateful to you and your husband and your family that is doing that as they get older and understand and can comprehend and, and deal with all the, that that happened that day. So, it, like Katie said, it's a, definitely a beautiful mm-hmm. thing. All right, so um, we do have a, we have one gift. We have a big gift for the smaller kids, and also um, we have um, some other gifts we would like you to open, but we appreciate you talking to us, and we want Thank you to stay you. in contact. Thank you. Can you I put, really appreciate everything everybody did. Merry Christmas. It means a lot. Thank you, you too. Yeah, Merry Christmas. It's the it's it's our pleasure. Man, you guys, I made it thirteen years without having a complete breakdown inside in front of the children and I just did it. I had to walk outside. That was <laughs> I've made it how many ten almost ten right. without crying really and now well, can't. And I'm eight for eight just, crying. <laughs> yeah. you, well and you're and you're inside and you, this little girl I mean, she's got this blonde curly hair and these huge blue eyes and her brother, you know, is just the mo- they're the most gorgeous children when you're thinking they're never going. They're never going to know their mom. Right. And I'm in there just absolutely, and then their their brother. I mean, they're, they're the mom was seven months pregnant with baby Jaden. They were excited to have a baby brother. They're never going to know their baby brother. Right. And, I mean, we're we're all in there right now, using an entire box of tissues, losing our minds. Crying. Yeah, we should send we should send more of those ones <laughs> yeah. on these days. All right, now we do want to open the uh, the big gift, the big right? gift. I don't, you know, the big gift that Mancus or Matt put together. Mm-hmm. I hope it works. Yeah. He was very. <laughs> Very sweaty. Yeah, it together. We have it. It, is, it, it does work because uh, promotions director Lauren was uh, uh, practicing, you know, in it earlier to make sure it did work. And then we also have Whitney, who is Meryl. Tell me, I don't actually know what's in there, so you're going to have to tell me because I didn't get to wrap that one. What is this? Parrot. Don't be neat about it. What is that? A tripod and a. The speaker for the iPod. Yeah. Speaker for the iPod. So you don't have to listen to Frozen anymore from these young children. You can listen to your own music. Yay! <laughs> and we know she loves yes. to sing and listen to music. And we, mm-hmm. I think she has a another Frozen thing we got where you can sing along to all the Frozen songs and cool. things like that. Hey, wait a minute. I didn't see. I didn't wrap that one. I didn't see that present. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. Cool. It's yeah, right it's, here. It is right here. It is like, oh, it's... It, Probably could be the most annoying toy of the uh, of the entire Thanksgiving experience. <laughs> be over and it's over and Christmas. over again. That's right. All right, now let's do um, the big gift for the, the the smaller kids. All right. Hey, can I get all the little kids outside because we have a very special gift outside for the little kids. There is a uh, there is a almost thirty year old driving it around the corner right now. Is she really Watch driving it? Watch the log. <laughs> Don't scratch the rim. We got a Ford F one fifty Power Wheels mm-hmm. for the kids, a two seater. It's hardcore. 
more power wheel here. This thing has like spinners on it, and uh, oh, it's running out of juice because of oh, oh not well. You're, you're, it's I supposed mean, to be for kids. kids. The kids are going. The kids aren't even waiting for it to come around the corner. All three of them are running around the corner. They just seriously knocked Lauren out of the driver's seat. They straight threw Good. her out, and they are all clean. <laughs> it's great, and it's awesome that you can actually plug an MP3 player in it now. I mean, these <gasps> things are incredible these days. Yeah, and it also oh plays God. the radio, so they can listen to 107.5 KZL while they're playing in the yard. Perfect. Look Jason, at that. Jason, we've got, we've oh, go got on Andriana. It's uh, Andriana. I will get her name right. Andriana is driving. And then you've got the one boy sitting in the back because there's a little back seat, and then there's another boy sitting in the front seat. Aww. And they are, oh, they're gone. See you guys. And there they Bye. go. Bye bye. Well, um, I know Jason Goodman ha- has awesome. one, mm-hmm. and he gave it to me uh, when Landon outgrew it, not to me, but to Ava and Eli. Every single day, it'll be 20 degrees outside. Can we drive it? Can we ride the Jeep? Can yeah. we ride the Jeep? And they get in the Jeep, and hours and hours of fun. That's great. They got the radio going. They are up. Oh, that's, oh, hold on. Ah, we got a kid falling out the back. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Let's get him strapped in. I think it has seatbelts. I think it has some seatbelts <laughs> yeah, in there. It yeah, it does. <laughs> All right. Well, we want them to enjoy their ki- their gifts. Uh, Josie, as always, a good job. We appreciate Great work. it. work. Um, and Thank we'll be you. posting. And we do have some adult um, adult gifts for the family as well um, that we do want to give Autumn. Um, Autumn, we have here some uh, gift cards. We have a $350 Walmart gift card for you. We have a gift card to Hams, and that's for $500. $500, yeah. Uh-huh, that's $500 right. $500 to Hams. And then we have um, some checks. To give you as well from you guys have to help me a cleaner world yeah, yeah. for five hundred bucks five hundred uh-huh. right. dollars and uh, yeah we've got all the, we've got adult presents too inside you are you are so welcome we are so happy to do it and thank you for uh, not kicking us out of your house when you got here it's all these strangers walking around your house <laughs> great work Santa baby she does a great job what a beautiful morning well, again want to thank Hams for being the corporate sponsor they're. They help every year, and it's great. We also want to say a big thank you to A Cleaner World for the $500. Also to Innisbrook for the gift wrap, boxes, ribbon, tags. They donated a great deal of uh, gifts for breaking and entering as well. And, of course, to Wagner Trees. They're going to get that tree inside. Don't worry. Wagner Trees. Thank you, Bruce, for taking care of the Bruce Wagner. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. um, Let's get the tissues out. Mm -hmm. and Drop them here. And... um, Jason, I know he's been silently crying. So. Well, he's been checking out some of the photos on Facebook. You'll you so. have photos, we'll have full video recap, we'll have all that so you can see this beautiful family, these beautiful kids. And, you know, sometimes it's, it's really nice you can join in in the happiness for them. We couldn't do it without you, yeah, AMLs. Thank, we couldn't. Thank you so much. Yay! 